Us. Pretty simple topic today, but powerful, and maybe my favorite, how to retire early. I wrote a whole book about this, and it's not as complicated as most people think. I had a, and this is just on the top of my, this, this is one of these topics where I had a meeting today, family is very, came in to talk and, and wanted to do some financial planning, and said, how, are, do we have enough money to retire? Because we always hear that you need millions and millions of dollars, and it seems like it's so far away for most folks, and that's just not the case. So much so that I'm going to give you three of the core principles in You Can Retire Sooner Than You Think, which is a whole book I did about this. And it's also about money and happiness. And there's a tons of, there's tons in this book. But the core principles, they're going to share three of these today that are really where the rubber meets the road. Where do you, what are the couple key things uh, that allow you to stop working or, earlier than most people in America? And it's not as difficult as most people think. Wall Street will have you believe you need $10 million to be able to retire. Susie Orman says you got to work till you're 70, or at least till 70, or, or you're going to die, or, or work until you die. And there, there was an article recently we talked about in the Wall Street Journal that said, look, you need, you can only take 3% of your money. It's even better to only take two. Hey, what's the point if you can't access any of your money? And, and we're trying to find a happy medium in here. And I've done, I've been uh, in the investment business for, for t- over two decades now, certified financial planner, all these different things. And I've seen this happen. I've seen it work. I'm going to dive into the three keys today. So maybe you can skip reading. You can retire sooner than you think. All right? Yeah, right? This might just skip the book. Uh, my marketing department will be not pleased that I say that. But here are the keys. Now, the first key here, and I'm going to do the two financial ones first, and then the third one that is arguably even more important than the financial piece is going to be number three. So stick around for all three of these. We're going to get to them quickly. The first one is that you, as an early retiree, or really any age for that matter, number one, I want to see, or what you need to do, needs to be the following. No mortgage. You've got to get rid rid of of that pesky bill that comes in the mail every month or probably online now, but you've got to figure out a way to get rid of the mortgage. Happy retirees get rid of the mortgage so that they don't have a $1,500 a month, $2,000 a month, $5,000 a month. I don't know what your mortgage is, but regardless of the size of the mortgage, happy retirees have the mortgage either paid off or they have, they are are highly, they are more, they are five times more likely to have their mortgage paid off within the next five years. So it's got to be all, almost within sight, gone. Key. It, there's a lot of ways to do it. Obviously, you can pay it off big lump sum, but the way to really do it and accelerate this and get it paid off by the time you're 60 or 55 or 65 or whatever, depending on what age you want to stop working. You've got to really accelerate the monthly payments, whether it's 200 bucks a month, 500 bucks a month, 800 bucks a month, but you've got to tie that in and figure out how much will it take extra per month to get it complete by the time you're retirement age or early retirement age. So that's the number one key. Got to get it done. It's a, it's a, it is an essential inside this book. You can retire sooner than you think. Number two, how much money do you need? Well, of course, more is better, right? $10 million would be great. Everyone would love that. $20 million would be even better. But that's just not realistic, right, for most people. Vast, vast majority. This is the number you got to get to. Now, you may be watching the video and say, I'm crazy, Wes. That's too much money. Can't do it. I'm not here to say you can or you can't. I'm just telling you the facts. You got to get at least here. You go out there and read articles about retirement planning, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be worse. It's going to say you need $2 million, $2.7 million, $3.5 million. You need five hundred, And the reason you need five hundred is because that can then produce an income stream on top of Social Security, which almost everyone listening will get at least for you and or your spouse. But five hundred will provide you with another $2,000 a month at least. So think of it this way. $3,000 a month in Social Security, yours is 1500 your spouse is 1500 let's say, on average. And it can be a lot more than that, by the way, by the time you're at full retirement age. So that's 3000 a month. Then you get then you get 5000 a month or 500000 which would produce another 2000 a month at least. 
And that's the math here. So now we're from 3,000 plus two is another five. So now you're at $5,000 a month. Now that might not sound like a ton of money, but if, again, you listen to rule one, no mortgage, all of a sudden the math starts to work. That's the key here. That's the key here. And if you're gonna do this really, really early, uh, the, the, the only thing that you, the, the, the p- missing piece of the equation here is social security. So if you're not at 65 and social security or 66 at your full age or 62, when you can start taking it, then you're gonna to have to have some sort of other mechanism that bridges that gap until you get to 62. But the keys here, no mortgage, number one. Number two, get to at least $500,000. Because if I do the math here, $500,000, and we're gonna do at, let's call it 5% a year, and I, and I say that with no inflation or 4% with inflation, but you do the math here, it's pretty simple. 500,000, do it right here, times 5%, it's $25,000 a year, divided by 12. Uh, it's a little over two grand a month, a little over $2,000 a month. So start to add all these components together, you get five grand a month and no mortgage, then you can really do most of the things you wanna do. Next, what's number three? Number three has to do with what you're gonna spend this money on. If you don't have a mortgage, hallelujah, because now instead of writing checks to Wells Fargo every month, you're gonna write checks to yourself or your company that is providing the cruise you're gonna go on or the trip in in Europe you're gonna go on or the trip around the United States that you're gonna go on because now that money instead of going to the bank is going to you and your family and all the things that you wanna do. And that's the key here. So number three here is called core pursuits. And I read about this in the book, happy retirees have, actually let's start with unhappy. Unhappy uh, retirees have this many core pursuits, 1.9. Happy retirees, so that's this. Happy retirees have 3.6 core pursuits. Major, major difference between these two. And the reason this is so important is that we want to have something that we are running to, not running away from, running to. And if you're getting into a a place where retirement is imminent or you have the, the, the financial wherewithal, no mortgage, 500,000 plus saved, right? So baseline minimum 500. Of course, 700 is better. 960 is better. Of course, a million is better. But you also have to have lots of things you and your spouse or you want to do. And you need at least three and a half of these core pursuits. What's a core pursuit? It's a hobby on steroids. It's more than just casual. I want to do this once or twice a year. That's not enough. That's not, it doesn't count. A core pursuit is something like, if you're a golfer, you know a golfer, and it doesn't matter if you like to golf or not, but if you know golfers, they either want to play golf all the time and go on golf trips and buy golf clubs and hang out with their golf buddies, or um, you don't want to golf at all, right? There, there's no like, I want to golf once a year. You either are a big time golfer, it's a core pursuit, or, or you kind of take it or leave it. And that's the same for anything you do, whether it's woodworking or pottery or an artist or music or travel, or family, or volunteering, or even a part-time job that you love, hobby income. All those count. All those count as core pursuits, but you gotta have several of them to keep you super, super, super busy when it comes time to spend the money that gets generated from the 500,000, and oh, by the way, no longer paying a mortgage. Sounds pretty simple, right? Takes a lot of time to get here. That's why you don't see people retiring at 45. It takes time. But uh, it, it, I've seen so many families be able to do it by the time they're in their late 50s, early 60s. And if you're a super early retiree, and you, again, you still don't have Social Security, you've got to also understand some of these numbers here uh, and, and understand that you might need a little bit more than the 500 if you're an ultra, ultra, retire, super early retiree. But these are the baseline numbers in America. Now, it might not count for New York City because it's so expensive or Palo Alto in California. But for the vast majority of places to live in America, these numbers work for 95% of folks. With that, again, you want to get more details, go to retiresoonerbook.com. That's this book. There's an awful, there's a lot more information about this and happy retirees, what happy retirees do, what to avoid as an unhappy retiree. The, there's actually five steps in the book. I outlined three of those five today here on this video, but I welcome you to visit uh, retiresoonerbook.com. Uh, subscribe to our channel on YouTube, which is Wes Moss Money Matters. Thank you so much for being with us. Have a profitable rest of your day.